Okay, so honestly speaking, <laughs> I was a bit shy of making an eye tutorial because the reason is that it wouldn't be fair to show you how to make an eye because an eye in itself, you can't really make an eye look good in itself. You need to be aware about the rest of the features of the face because this is 3D. So it looks needs to look good in all dimensions. You need to be wary of this area, this nose area, the socket of the eye itself. And if you don't have all of these features, the, there's no point in making a tutorial on the eye itself. But the intention with this tutorial is that you know how to sculpt a basic face. If you don't know, I have a video that shows you how to, how to sculpt a basic face, like from scratch. It's on the channel. You can check it out. And the intention of this tutorial is to just give you some pointers, some tips for making the eye. And I have this Kratos similar, <laughs> this Kratos doppelganger. No, I wasn't actually making Kratos. I was just making a generic face. But yeah, let me show you some of the things inside the real eye. And then I will tell you about some things in, in 3D, in Blender. So you, so eyes come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. And there's actually no true way of making a correct eye because every eye is different. But there are some elements that you need to be aware of. The first element you need to be aware of is that the eye sits inside the eye socket. Okay. So if you have a skull, if you look at the skull, and let me draw for you. I'm drawing with my mouse because my pen tablet doesn't really work with this. So if you imagine the face like this, okay, here we have the lips. If you imagine the face like this, the eye is going to sit somewhere inside the eye socket. Okay. It's going to sit quite behind. And you will see some notable distance between the eye and the nose. But this depends a lot on the races. So there's too many factors. But yeah, just remember that the eye is inside the socket. Over here, you can see that you, if you imagine the skull of this person, it's going to look something like this. Okay. And yeah, so eye is going to be inside the eye socket. The second thing you need to be aware of when you're looking at a reference is how much of the upper eyelid is exposed. So you can see that some people, they have little upper eyelid exposure. Some people have a lot of upper eyelid exposure and some people don't have any eyelid exposure. And this is very common in, in the Asian eyes. Asian eyes are my favorite, by the way. So you won't really get to see the upper eyelid. It's covered by this layer of skin. The third thing you need to be aware of is this, is this fat pad over here. So every eye is going to have this fat pad. This fat pad is going to be present in every eye you see. Okay. And this is mostly what is covering the upper eyelid, especially when the character is angry or the character is a bit old, this area gets a bit droopy. And yeah, you can see that you, you are going to see this upper fat in every eye. Okay. She has a lot of upper eyelid exposure as well. And let me minimize this. Okay. So you need to be, you need to take that into account. And another feature that you need to be aware of is that the eye is a bit angled. So the upper eyelid is always going to be ahead of the lower eyelid. Okay. And the most important thing, the most important thing, the eyes are very round. The reason is that there is an eyeball inside. Okay. And the eye, they need to wrap around this eyeball. So the eyelids are always going to wrap around this. I can't really draw the best with the mouse, but you get the point. Now that we've taken all of this into account, now that you have some context about how the eye should look like, the features of the eye, let's make the eyes on this character. So what I like to do is after I have the eye sockets, I made the eye sockets, I have the nose and everything. What I like to do is I like to make a round shape. Let me turn on symmetry. I like to make some sort of a round shape that emulates the eyeball. So I'm trying to make something like the eyeball. This is basically to give the eye a bit of a curvature. I think I overdid it a bit, but yeah, it's okay. You can just smoothen it out. Okay. And once you smoothen it out, you're going to see that you're going to have some sort of this shape. Okay. You're going to see it. And from the side, you can see that this is at an angle, which is exactly what we want. And the way that I like to test this is that 
take the draw sharp brush let me turn on the screencast i always forget to do that yeah so you have the draw sharp brush what you can do is just make something like this okay curve like this what this does is it gives you an illusion of a closed eye so you can basically imagine that okay this character has eyes i, I like the proportions the eyes would look well okay and if you feel that the eye is a bit off you can adjust things here and there you can adjust the size this basically is a good way to test things and once you have this shape what you can do is you can make the up eyelid so the way you make it is just by holding control and make a generic eye and then the lower eyelid okay so we have an eye shape this isn't ideal but we have an eye shape it's okay now you want to dig this in just dig 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 okay i'm making the hole for the eyeballs that are going to sit inside this this cavity this hole right here so just make a hole and now what you want to do is create an a uv sphere so let's shade smooth let's go to the front view let's scale it down and move it in the eye socket now what you want to be careful of is that the eyeball is going to be a tad bit smaller than the eyelid so you can see that the length of the eyes itself is this okay but the eyeball let me make it with a green marker the length of the eyeball is a bit smaller okay that is something you need to keep in mind and once you have this let's go to the side view let's move it ahead we have this angle that we talked about which is looking very nice and just be careful that you don't want to place the eyeball in the center it is going to be a bit above a bit above okay so this is the center line it's not going to be in the center of the hole it's going to be a bit above and that is because you need this angle over here this angle is very important i used to make this mistake that i made the eye somewhere over here and it never wrapped around and it never had this angle so just keep your eyeballs a bit above okay and now what you want to do is just go to your sculpt take the grab brush let me expand this so you can see my brushes and what we want to do now is to just wrap the eyelids around the eyeball that we made and just try to keep an even thickness all around the tip that i can give you over here is to go in this menu and lock the x and the z axis now what you do is you just pull in the y axis no matter how you how you sculpt no matter how you move so that is a useful tip that you can take into account so let's move it up let's wrap it around the eyeball let's push this in because it's gonna wrap around and yeah this this part the outer part is a bit behind than the part in front so yeah just, just keep that in mind and also the lower eyelid we want to push it out we want to give it some sort of an even thickness okay so we have some rough looking eyes let's turn off the the locks that we have and yeah the character looks a bit sleepy so let's open up his eyes and this is an eye-opening experience bad joke okay bad joke sorry so let's just open up his eyes a bit more and what what what's the shape of the eye you can literally pick any eye shape that you like i'm just making a generic eye nothing too fancy okay and what i like to do as well is use the scrape brush then flatten this area it just gives it a bit more even thickness and it looks really nice to scrape this area also scrape the upper eyelid and you see we are starting to have a good looking eye so let's mirror this and let's add a bit more geometry to work with oh not on the eyeball but on the sculpt itself let's add a bit more geometry yeah the eyes are very detailed you need a lot of geometry to work with them and remember the upper eyelid it always overlaps the lower eyelid just a sec yes i was being called for dinner but let's wrap this up first okay so the upper eyelid is always going to overlap the lower eyelid okay 
there's something to keep in mind. Let's take this in. Let's move this up. You should have some sort of a sharp angle over here. Let's take this in again. And now let's make the cut pad. Now this doesn't really look good. So I'm going to smooth this a bit. I'm going to scrape this a bit more so that it looks a bit more flatter. It looks very round, which I'm not liking. Yes, let's make it a bit more flat. And what you can also do is you are going to see this in a lot of eyes. Let's just smooth this a bit. So we get rid of the wobbliness. Yes. Just take a draw sharp brush because you see the eyeball is round. And since the skin is wrapping around, you might see this thing. Okay. And just smooth it a bit. Add it and then smooth it. You can also use the clay strips brush to emphasize it a bit. And also, yeah, another important feature is that you have the lower skull orbit of the eye and it is going to be visible but just a bit just a bit what, what's this what did i do oh i have symmetry on the z-axis as well let's smooth this no problem and yeah let's make that orbit of the skull just use a draw sharp brush just add it in like this and then smooth just hint it very subtly nice now let's add the fat pads so everything is looking great we just don't have the fat pads yet so let's make the fat pads and remember that the fat pads they can sometimes overlap the entire upper eyelid sometimes they don't sometimes it's a bit sometimes it's a lot an important thing to notice about the fat pad is that it shouldn't interfere with the silhouette it shouldn't be like a bump like this okay it should be smooth with the silhouette Let's just use the draw sharp brush to carve the upper eyelid again. And there you have it. You have eyes. You can also make the tear duct, which I sometimes I don't really worry about this a lot. But yeah, you can. Just make something like this. Add a bit more clay and remember that this is going to be ahead of the eyes. Okay, it let me show you. Okay, so you can see the eyeball ending over here. This is the eyeball, and you're going to have this bit of a tear duct thing. Okay, so that is what we're trying to make over here. Just move this here, use the draw sharp brush, push it in. You can also sharpen the areas around this. And then carve a bit around the tear duct area. Let me add a bit more clay over here. There you have it. A good looking eye. Let me. Let's turn on shadows. And there you have it. I feel that the eyes are a bit too small in this case. Let's just move them a bit closer. And also, since we did that, we have to scale the eyes a bit. Let's scale them a bit. And let's just make sure we have even thickness around the eyes. Okay, so we don't in this case. Let's just move things out a bit. Yes, and now they're looking fine. So that is how you make eyes for your character. Goodbye. If you are struggling with sculpting heads, check out my course in the description. 
I was struggling just like you four months ago. And in my course, I have broken down how to sculpt a head into the simplest, simplest steps ever. This course is everything I wished I had when I was learning how to sculpt. And it is going to put you on the fast lane of learning how to sculpt. So what are you waiting for? Get your copy right now and level up your head sculpting skills.